Hey Skinbees, welcome back to our channel. So good to see all of you. So today, what we're gonna be talking about is I will be answering some of the basic skincare questions. So without any further ado, let's get started. Why do I need a skincare routine? Having a good skincare routine can give benefits to your skin. Like it keeps it in good condition, reduces fine lines and wrinkles, and prevents from further skin damages. Healthier skin also makes you feel good and look good by boosting your confidence. So if you want a healthy skin, it is very important to have a proper skincare routine. Because once the damage is done, it is really, really difficult to reverse it back. Like I went through the same and I don't want you guys to go through the same. So please, please, please get your skincare routine right. Bonus is that it saves money in the long run. What skin type do I have? How to find out my skin type? So before buying any products, it is very important to know your skin type. Like without knowing a skin type, you cannot go and buy any random products, alright? So in order to find out what skin type you have, all you have to do is wash your face, leave it for some time, like give it a few minutes and then see how your skin feels, okay? If your skin feels oily and greasy, then you might have an oily skin type. If your skin feels dry and flaky, you have a dry skin type. And if your skin feels oily on the T-zone and dry on the U-zone, you have a combination skin type. And if your skin feels quite normal without any major issues, then you will have a normal skin type. So that is how you figure out what skin type you have. What products should everyone have in their skincare routine? So a really basic skincare routine, just remember this, okay? C, T, and M. So cleanser, toner, and moisturizer, and of course sunscreen. So that's like the most basic thing you should know when you're starting off your skincare journey. So CTM, cleanser, toner, moisturizer. However, a proper skincare routine should have a cleanser, toner, exfoliator, serum, moisturizer, and a sunscreen. So you can incorporate this product into your skincare routine according to what skincare issues you have and your control. How often should I cleanse, exfoliate, and moisturize? So if you are someone watching this video and you love to over cleanse your face like more than twice, then my friend, you might be in a danger. I think two times in a day is good to go, like mornings and evenings. You know, I did a really, really huge mistake in the past. I thought I had a really oily skin and what I would do is I would go and I would wash my face so that my oil would, you know, be just gone because I just wanted my oil to be gone. I wanted to have a normal skin. But what it did was it made it even worse. Like when you over cleanse and over wash your face, your face thinks that, oh, we need to produce the oil. So it kind of makes it worse. So please do not make that mistake, okay? So I think twice in a day is quite good to go. So mornings and evenings. Cleanse not more than twice in a day, like mornings and evenings. That is way too good. As for exfoliators, you can use it once or twice a week and you can build it up uh, as your skin adapts to it. And for moisturizer, you should keep your skin moisturized all day like be it morning or day or night like oily or dry or sensitive doesn't matter you have to keep your skin moisturized every day how should i layer my skincare products you should layer your skin products from thinnest to thickest consistency you should follow an order while doing your skincare routine for the products to penetrate better all you have to remember is from thinner to thicker consistency. How long should you wait between skincare steps? So there is no such particular thing or time slot for this, but um, wait for 30 to 60 seconds, give it a time for the products to absorb in and then you can proceed with your next skincare routine. For vitamin C, exfoliators and retinols, always apply those on your dry skin. I need it on your dry skin. So after you're done applying, wait for three to five minutes and you can proceed on with your next skincare step. So when I apply my serum and moisturizer, what I like to do is I like to massage it on a circular motion to increase the blood circulation. So that's a little tip for you guys. 
how long does it take to see results from a skincare product? It really depends on the product type. It can take about three to four weeks for you to see the results with consistent use that is uh, for vitamin C or any such product. So the key is to be consistent. So don't rush, be patient, and I think everything will fall into place. Do skincare products expire? Of course, just like food expires, I mean, skincare do expire. So it is very, very important to uh, check the shelf life. So the shelf life of an unopened product is uh, usually two to three years. But there is a PAO that is period after opening. So some products can have like 3 or 6 or even 12 or even 18 if you're blessed. But this product has like 12 months after opening. So that is how you know. So it's very important to check on your products. A lot of people complain saying that, oh my god, I got this rashes after using this product. Like You have to check this. Okay, it's very, 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 very. Moisturize for oily skin. Oh yes, definitely, definitely. It's a Y E S. Yes, you need a moisturizer. Like I said, I have an acne prone skin type, and I used to think that's okay. Like my skin is oily enough. I don't need to moisturize. It's gonna make it more worse. And for so many years, I've been skipping on my moisturizer thinking that I have like super oily skin type I don't need a moisturizer that made my skin barrier even worse like it damaged my skin barrier and now I am obsessed with moisturizers and sunscreen like I cannot go a single day without it so you're saying that you know you have an oily skin oh I don't need a moisturizer but that makes it even worse like said your system, your face thinks that, oh, this person has a very dry skin. I think this person did not moisturize, so this person is gonna need some more oil. So it releases more oil, making, making your pores clog more and leading it to break your skin out and it's just a mess. So moisturizer with oily skin or dry or sensitive, whatever it is, you need a should I wear sunscreen every day? Of course! Like I said, we have stressed the importance of sunscreen in all of our videos and be it summer or winters or monsoon or indoors or outdoors, sunscreen is a must. Make sure that your skin is protected at all times, alright? So please, please, please don't go without sunscreen. Also, don't forget to reapply it after every two to three hours. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found this answers helpful in any way. If it did, please, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and comment down below. Until then, take care. Yeah.